Now we should draw the velocity versus time graph. Okay, so remember that our uh, question is broken up actually into three parts. One part where we our acceleration is one meters per second squared, one part where it's five meters per second squared, and one where there's negative seven meters per second squared. Now you might recall that when we are above the t-axis, then we have a positive upward slope for velocity. When we are below the t-axis for acceleration, we have a downward slope. Okay, and these slopes are constant. Uh, they are uniform. So to draw it, it's purely straight lines. And we know that we started off rest, so initial velocity is zero. After four seconds, our velocity was four meters per second. So from zero to four meters per second is the first part of this graph. Then you'll notice that it's actually difficult to draw from this point, but this was our initial velocity for the second part. But I'm going to draw it backwards, so uh, just because you can see it doesn't make the the pencil mark there. It wants to move that line, so I'm going to draw it backwards to that point, which means at nine seconds we calculated that we were at 29 meters per second. So at nine seconds we were at 29. There we go, there's 29 meters per second. And this is what that velocity graph would look like. Okay, now we decelerated at 7 meters per second. Negative 7 meters per second acceleration. Okay, now what would that look like? Now to do this last part, I don't want to use calculations. It is 100% fine if you do use calculations, but I want to actually show you a sneak trick. It's not really a trick. The maths makes perfect sense. Let me show you. Notice here how that for every one second, my velocity increases with one meters per second. Okay. In other words, if I look at this slope, one second forward and one meters per second upwards. So I see that I have one meters per second for every second. That's for this first part. Now that means it's one meters per second squared. Look at the second part. For every one second, I go one, two, three, four, five meters per second increase. So in one second, I go from four meters per second to nine meters per second, which means for uh, I have an increase of 5 meters per second per second. That means it is 5 meters per second squared. And that is exactly the acceleration that we were given for those parts. So do you notice that how the slope of this line is 100% determined by the acceleration? So if acceleration is negative, as we have it here, it will be a downward slope negative 7. That means for every, this is, uh, let me write it down here, if I have negative 7 meters per second squared as my acceleration, that means my velocity is decreasing with 7 meters per second every second. So if I go and draw that, It means from here, for one step forward, one step forward, I must go, or one second forward, I mean, I must go seven uh, meters per second down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be the slope. Okay. And for how many seconds does this slope continue? Well, let's have a look. It continues for one, two, three three four seconds or you can just look it must go up to 13 seconds so I must keep this slope okay is it slope until I get to 13 and there is my complete graph